Hey everyone, that's Stem Guy here, coming at you today from the track, where we are gonna learn how to make one of these awesome balloon or wind-powered race cars. Now, if you choose to go the balloon route, I guarantee you probably have these materials laying around your house. If you choose to go the wind-powered route, you can buy these propellers on Amazon in a class set. They're super durable and pretty cheap. The link will be in the description box below. Let's dive into the builds. To begin, take your push pin. Be careful with it because it is pointy. Flip your bottle upside down and begin poking some holes in it in a straight line. This will help weaken the plastic. Next, take your scissors and open them up. Use one edge to poke through the weakened plastic that you just made. Now it'll be nice and easy for you to slip your scissors in and cut around the bottom of the bottle to remove it. With the bottom of our bottle removed, we're gonna take our scissors and cut our straw and skewer in half. Try your best to cut them in the middle. If you need to use a ruler to find the middle, go ahead and do so. Let's grab that push pin again. Now we're gonna poke some holes in the middle of our wheels so that we can attach them to our axles, which we're gonna to put together later. Now I like to use applesauce lids, but you can use any sports bottle cap or round object as your wheels. With the tiny holes punched in each wheel, let's go ahead and take those scissors and open them up once again. Work them through the hole in the weakened plastic on each wheel. We're now gonna start putting the chassis of our car together. Take your two pieces of straw and your two crab sticks. Pull a piece of tape about the length of a straw, a little bit smaller, and you're gonna want three pieces for each piece of straw. So in total, there's gonna be six pieces of tape that you rip off. Now grab your craft sticks and lay them on top of the straw. Grab a piece of tape and tape the craft sticks to the straw. Go ahead and flip this piece over. Take your second piece of tape and start in the middle of the straw, securing one side of it down. Now, a third piece of tape to secure the other side down. Flip it back over and fold in each corner. The top should still be very sticky. Grab your second piece of straw. Lift up your chassis and slide it underneath. Now, we're gonna use a piece of tape to secure it to the craft sticks. Go ahead and flip this piece over again. We are now gonna take our fourth piece of tape and again, starting in the middle of our straw, securing one edge of it, and then grabbing our last piece of tape, starting in the middle of the straw and securing the other edge. Make sure that when you flip it over, we fold down all four of those corners. Now, the top part should still be sticky because there is gonna be a lot of exposed tape that hasn't been folded over yet. Let's build our axles now. Take half of your skewer and one of your wheels. Poke the edge of the skewer through that little hole that we've already created in your wheel. Repeat that exact same process with the second axle. At this point, I like to stand up both of my axles just because it's a little bit easier to put the chassis on and then slide each skewer through each of the straw pieces. Next, we're gonna take our last two wheels and poke them through the edges of the skewer to complete the chassis of our car. Now, make any minor adjustments that you need to make sure that all four wheels are turning nicely. Remember back to when we built our chassis and some of the tape was still sticky? This is why. Go ahead and take your bottle and lay it on top of that sticky tape. We're now gonna flip our car over. This is when having a partner comes in handy. I don't have one, so I'm gonna use my scissors to help hold my car in place. Pull some big pieces of tape, big enough that it can wrap around the sides of the bottle. Secure the popsicle sticks to the bottle. Don't tape near the wheels because you don't want them to get stuck on the tape. There you have it. The body of our car is now built. It's time to power this thing.
Regardless of if you are going to choose balloon or wind powered, one of the things we're going to want to do is at the top of our car, in the side that's cut out the bottom, we're going to cut two little slits and cut out like a little notch. And this is going to make it a lot easier for our propeller to spin and also for us to inflate that balloon. If it's hard to see the shape I cut out, I'm going to trace it with my finger here to make it a little bit easier for you to visualize. If you chose balloon powered, go ahead and take your balloon and your jumbo straw. Put your jumbo straw through the nozzle of the balloon and make sure you work it up into the chamber of the balloon, so the big part that's going to inflate with air. Next, take your rubber band and tightly twist it around the nozzle of the balloon, securing the straw in place inside of the balloon. Let's try it out. Go ahead and blow into the edge of the straw and see if your balloon inflates. Yep, it works. Go ahead and rest your straw on the top of your bottle. Make sure that the edge that you're gonna blow in is in that little notch, it's hanging over that little notch that we're gonna cut out, and the balloon is over the neck of the bottle, so the part that you would have drank out of. And go ahead and just pull some tape out and secure that straw in place. We're now ready to test. Let's see if it works. Whoa! If you choose the wind powered option, your first step is gonna to be to take your paper clip and just bend it out. And then take your three rubber bands and loop them around the bend. Hold the edge of the three rubber bands that's not attached to the paper clip tightly and feed it through the neck of your bottle, the part that you would drink out of. It may be easier to stand up your bottle to drop the rubber bands in. Place your paper clip on the edge of the bottle, the part that you would drink out of, and you're gonna to wanna to tape it in place. I like to use at least three pieces of tape here. Make sure that they're both horizontal and vertical and some are on the inside, but be sure to not tape any of the rubber bands. Grab your propeller and fit it on top of the craft stick. Now, it's okay if your propeller is a little bit loose or even falls off during this process. The main thing that you wanna do during this step is securing the craft stick to the top of the bottle. Make sure you put it near that opening, that little notch that we cut out earlier. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you really, really, really tape this thing off because when tension is added with the rubber bands, it's gonna to wanna to pull this tape right off. So use an abundance of tape and really make sure that that craft stick is secured to your bottle. Get ready for easily the most frustrating step of this whole build. Go ahead and take another paper clip and work it out of its shape. Turn it into like a little hook. This is what we're gonna stick in the base of our bottle, the bottom part that we cut off earlier. And we're gonna try to grab those three rubber bands and pull them back so that we can attach them to our propeller. When you've got those rubber bands, hook them around the little metal part on your propeller and then make sure your propeller is back on top of your craft stick. It's now time to put some energy in our propeller. Go ahead and spin it around and let the rubber band double or triple coil on top of itself. When you're ready, let go and let it spin. Looks good, let's test it out. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Whoa!